Hi, welcome to Lori's View and Tiro 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Tuesday, December 27, 2022. And as I promised in my last video, we're going to continue exploring the uh, possible impacts of having parasitic involvement with our health. And uh, I thought actually when I started doing the, uh, the article reading and research for this video that I would be breaking some new ground. And it turns out that science, even though they're currently downplaying parasitic involvement in the development of cancer in people, have acknowledged for over a hundred years that liver flukes, which are form of parasitic infection um, are directly linked to bile duct cancer. Now, I think what they're trying to do, what Big Pharma is trying to do <laughs> is convince us that it was indeed a fluke, which is the name for that parasite. And that uh, there's not, that parasitic involvement isn't a major contributor to the development of cancer in the human body. Now, I've done like I usually do. I've gotten a few um, articles and information for you. One of them is on another social media site, so I can't do a direct link, and I just probably wouldn't any. The others are pretty standard and mainstream. I will give you a link to my Facebook page, and you can look those up. Okay? Real quickly, for those that don't care to use Facebook in any form or fashion, Let's look what, what I got. You could look at ecrocommunity.plos.org and they have an article called Hallmarks of Cancer. You could go to sciencedaily.com and they have one about parasitic worms cause cancer. Then you could go to the cancerresearchuk.org and they have one that talks about infections including parasitic involvement with the development of cancer. And on that other site, which sounds a little bit like fit boot, <laughs> they have an article that was really good. Um, and even on BitChute, it's been hard to find. This is the one that will work for you. Video proof, microparasite in chronically sick patients. So um, I encourage you to do a little listening and reading. So it looks like I don't need to do any tarot reading about establishing that there are cancers that are directly caused from parasitic involvement. And uh, I think what we'll do though is just ask the universe if this is a causality that we need to be more aware of, pushing our doctors to um, make, you know, eliminate that as a potential risk for us especially as we face some, you know, big consequences that have um, protocols that are anything but comfortable or, you know, <laughs> natural. <laughs> so um, a lot of times as I was reading, the one of the phrases that stuck with me that I was reading was that doctors treat the symptoms, the disease without looking for the cause. And so what would it hurt to do some protocols with the help of your doctor to eliminate the possibility of parasitic involvement before proceeding with other treatment forms. And if your doctor's not amenable to that, then um, you know you might want to make some other arrangements for your health care or your health care provider, or you may want to supplement <laughs> your choice. It's a free will universe, okay? But personally, the thought of uh, hosting those little hitchhikers in my system, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. So <clears throat> we found out yesterday that through the cards, that there's been some deliberate inclusion of parasitic elements in our food products. So let's ask if uh, there is, let's see, I want to get a good answer from the universe. And I'm kind of thinking out loud here because I do this with you, not you know, prearrange and then show you what I found, you know, and, and get it. So let's see, I think I want the universe to tell us, is there, are we deliberately being exposed to parasites that cause cancer? 
And is there other information the universe wants us to know? So we know it's in our food, okay? Um, are we being deliberately exposed to parasitic involvement to cause cancer? And you know, cancer treatment's a big money business. That's why a lot of remedies and cures that may possibly have worked haven't made the mainstream, <laughs> you know, regular practice covered by insurance, you know? So let's see. Let's see what the universe wants us to know about. Is it deliberate that uh, is not only are we getting deliberately uh, exposed to parasites, but are we getting exposed to ones that they know will cause cancer? And is there other information that the universe wants to share with us? Let's find out. Okay, are we deliberately exposed to parasites that are known but not acknowledged to cause cancer? And is there other information the universe wants us to know? Our first card is the tower. Knight of Cups. The Emperor. King of Pentacles. The Lovers. Four Cups. Eight of Swords. Okay, well, our question, is it intentional that we're getting uh, parasitic cancers and that that um, is treatments that would involve removing them being withheld from us, I guess is where we were going with that. And with the tower, which indicates transformation in a major life event, I think we're getting a very strong yes here because I know having had that diagnosis myself, it is a transformative event. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I'm a survivor, but talk about news. Okay, now we're getting told a little bit more. Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, he's kind of tricky, okay? He makes false promises. He's a, he's, he's a fraudster, okay? The play on your feelings, okay? When you, and Cups are emotions. So when you get this news, you're really vulnerable and you're looking for the best information and treatment protocols possible. And it's really hard to believe that those are being withheld from you or that there's something that's not a money maker that's very simple that might um, alleviate the problem and it's being withheld from you. But this is indeed the case currently, currently. Now in the past, the emperor, he's my ultimate white hat alliance card. Um, he's showing up here, uh, I think he said enough's enough and humans need to be healthy. And I think we have some divine off world future self help coming our way to help with that situation. Okay. King of Pentacles is showing up here for the, uh, the present. He's, he's got, he's a very faithful provider and he is high ambition. So the white hats have a high ambition of making this a thing of the past for us. Okay. Let's see what the chances of success are for it, okay? We have the lover's card showing up for the near future, another major arcana, okay? So we've got three major arcanas out of seven. Again, when you see more than one, you know you, you're talking about a topic that's really important, okay? Now the lover's card is just real good connections, um, healthy, loving energy. And so it looks like in the, uh, moving forward, it's the trickery and the, um, the less than helpful cures were offered are going to be a thing of the past, okay? Because the lover's card is also about just good health and healing. These people here are very healthy <laughs> and totally, totally, you know, just they're hiding nothing, okay? And the universe supports and blesses that. All right, now getting a little 
further information from these cards. It's kind of interesting. We've got the Four of Cups here. And I think that's a confirmation that until things like med beds roll out and are readily available for us, don't overlook um, exploring some less than standard treatment options. As I said, hopefully with your healthcare provider, but if not, maybe an alternative one. So um, if you get that bad news, okay, it's nice to eliminate as many causes as you can. What can it hurt? Okay. Um, then we have the uh, Eight of Swords here showing up. And this is a card of healing. So we're getting told, yeah, some of these less than standard or not high money remedies may actually be the way to go for this. Okay. Until such time, as I said, when med beds with uh, non invasive technology can fix a host of ailments and uh, help humans to have the healthy lives that and longevity that our creator really wanted for us. Okay, we have the seven of swords showing up here. He's a little tricky. He's trying to get away with what we can. So Big Pharma is trying to pass the buck, you know, say, oh, well, maybe it causes bile duct cancer, but it doesn't cause that many cancers. Well, sorry, too bad. We're kind of aware of this and you're not getting away with what you used to get away with Big Pharma. Okay, there's a firm foundation here. He's landing on top of the, the this card is one of firm foundations. So we've got some healing possible here in the near future. Okay, better health, and that'll be based on a firm foundation. Okay. <laughs> and those that have deliberately harmed and shortened and taken quality from human life are going to face some judgment for it. Absolutely. Despite any trickery they try to have or um, when they say that they have immunity from prosecution and stuff, there's some karmic debt that you can't, you can't legislate away and you can't write off. So as we know, big pharma doesn't produce cures with the exception of antibiotics. And then people are rapidly finding that so many things are resistant to them. Big Pharma creates lifelong customers. And they really don't care if your life's shorter as long as they make a lot of money at the end of it. You know, the majority of our healthcare costs get racked up in the last 90 days of our lives for things like this. So be aware that there may be some very simple causes to more than the acknowledged cancers. And what can it hurt? to eliminate the possibility that parasitic involvement is in your system. I don't see how it would hurt unless you had a, a uh, compromised immune system. And, uh, and I think there's got to be doctors out there that will um, professionally guide you through a process of eliminating that from your system. Because doctors have to start looking more at causes and taking care of the cause rather than the symptom. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. And we're getting there, folks. We will. Our world's going to be much better and much healthier. We're going to live longer lives, and I hope I'm around to enjoy a lot of that with you. <laughs> I want to be around for a long, long time. Okay, that's it for this video. By the way, my last video that was talking about um, parasites and food only was approved for limited ad revenue. I mentioned no specific companies. I didn't um, call out any specific vendors. I did mention a specific country that some of our food comes from that may have been what caused it, but it tells me we were over the target. So this is a topic that we need to be aware of. This is a type of uh, weaponization that's been directed towards us and it's easy to fight back on it and take control of your own system and own some of your health protocols, whatever you choose for them to be. And like I said, ideally with a healthcare provider, but if not with research and prayer, <laughs> okay? I don't, I don't want y'all going loosey goosey on me, you know, here and just, uh, and I don't want to ever seem to have uh, advocated one specific protocol for people, 
okay? Because what's right for one person isn't right for another. And I am not a medical professional. These videos I make are for your entertainment only, but hopefully there's sources of things that you're thinking about, or I, I show you where I read it and it gives you something to look at and, you know, just expand our worldview a little bit and uh, do it in a way that empowers us, okay? All right, so until next time, I send you love and light. I thank you for your time. I, I don't take it for granted. Your time is precious. We only have so many hours and days that are allotted to us. And you chose to spend a little with me. So it's very, very valued. And be smiling and in love and light. I'll see you next time.